to the extent that Hamas believes that there's daylight between us, that doesn't help. President Biden has been sharpening his criticism of Netanyahu over the loss of civilian life in Gaza. He's hurting Israel more than helping Israel by making the rest of the world. It's contrary to what Israel stands for. Hello, family. Welcome Israel back to another insists episode of Journey to Harmony. will allow a major I'm evacuation of Rafa before. Talk to you about the conflict continuing to rage in Israel. Um, uh, that Benjamin Netanyahu has, has stated once again that he will not stop until he's, all of Hamas has been destroyed. So at this point right now, we're, we're following up the uh, incident that occurred on October 7th um, while uh, the Israelis were celebrating at the festival. They were attacked. Over 1,200 Israelis were killed. And during that time period, Benjamin Netanyahu has determined overall that he will not stop until Hamas is destroyed. Um, there's a lot of, of tension going on. He's faced a lot of criticism uh, to this point. There's been over 30,000 uh, people of Palestine and Gaza have been killed in this time period. And then Netanyahu continues to state that he will push on next is he's focused, turn his focus on to Rafa. Uh, right now, he's facing crit serious criticism from Americans as well as the continued protest here in America. And many people are saying that this is not something that should be continued. I'm going to play a little video. We'll watch a little bit of this. Come back and talk about it. If it's your first time joining, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And here we go. To win this war, we must destroy the remaining Hamas battalions in Rafah. If not, if not, Hamas will regroup, rearm, and reconquer Gaza. And then we're back to square one. And that's an intolerable threat that we cannot accept. We will destroy Hamas, free our hostages, and ensure that Gaza doesn't ever pose a threat to Israel again. We will finish the job in Rafah while enabling the civilian population to get out of harm's way. We've taken measures to minimize civilian casualties that no other army has taken in history. All right, so Benjamin Netanyahu is facing some criticism from those who are without as well as some from those who are within. Uh, many people are saying that he is going too far um, with this as in many of the things that he is expecting that he wants to destroy Hamas. But at the same time, he's creating a, a spirit of uh, rebellion as well in the, the nations around. So you have many people who are still uh, preaching that that death to Israel, death to the U.S. Um, you have Iran, you have uh, all these other other different nations that are continuing to press on and to say that they will not be um, a part of this and that they will make sure that they see the downfall of these particular nations. Um, this is uh, it, it's 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 something that Joe Biden right now faces an issue with. They came out. They were so, um, you know, staunch in terms of their support of Israel. And now Joe Biden, his his, his base largely has been, um, you know, African-Americans, has been uh, people from Muslim backgrounds many times. And in Detroit, he had a situation where 100,000 people refused to vote for him. And if this continues, most likely this will be the case as well, where he faces some serious issues in terms of reelection because those who are who were used to support him are now standing down because he is uh, continuing to support Israel. Um, there's going to be a lot of, of confusion here in the next coming year. And we'll see exactly how this plays out, because once you enter Rafa, how who says that that is going to be the end of it? Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu will will have to answer to those who are um, in his party as well as to those who are out. And we'll see exactly how this plays out. What are your thoughts on the situation? Please comment below, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day.